I'm right now again in South Africa, getting ready for the retreat here in August. Let me just show you this beautiful hotel where if you are interested, you can join me in August. In Turkey, I will be in May, yeah. but in August of 2024, beautiful hotel for just 20 people. And so I would love, love, love to have you here where we're going to have meditation, yoga, master classes every day, every morning and every evening. We'll go to excursions to see big five rhinos, elephants, antelopes, hippos, crocodiles, vultures, um, cheetahs. And so you guys are going to have a beautiful time here in a beautiful in South Africa. A woman was sharing that she's not happy, that her husband is overweight, that he is not working currently, and that he is not helping with two kids that they have. And so typically, when we're in a relationship or marriage or even dating, we get to the point where we start taking our partners for granted. Yes, over time, both men and women sometimes gain weight. Some people start drinking. Some people lose their motivation in their job or their habits or their hobbies. But when we are looking at our partner and thinking, he's too thin or he's too fat, he is not good enough in finances or he's lazy or he is too weak or he's too stubborn or he's too greedy the more you're thinking of negativity the more you are attracting this negativity more and more and then you start looking at your partner through that filter that you're saying that something is wrong with him but please consider hearts back to you please consider that whoever and for some of you who are religious and spiritual, we all understand that Creator created this world. Creator created you, very unique, very special. And Creator helped you to attract this person who you're with. And He knows better who will be a good partner for you. Because each person that we're attracting, each person that comes into our life is meant for you. Even if this person is toxic, even if this person is lazy, even if this person is stubborn and doesn't want to help out or do anything, they're there to teach you. If you're with a toxic person, obviously, they're teaching you to become confident and increase your self-esteem so you can be the best version of yourself and put stop and create boundaries when they're misbehaving. If the person is lazy, you got to work on yourself in order to become feminine and soft and stop working and putting the action that you're not going to do that anymore, being responsible for his duties. And so the partner next to you is going to start working. So whoever you are attracting, whether they're drug addict, alcoholic, lazy or stubborn, or stubborn they're there for you to teach you a lesson and we just need to learn to use these tools instead of complaining why do I have such a bad partner or why am I single is to use what you have and not making it wrong and this is so hard to understand that everything we go through the good the bad and the ugly is there for a reason we just don't see the big picture and we concentrate that we're stuck right now thank you for the hearts in this certain circumstance but all of this is temporary you got just gotta learn and see in all of the negativity there's still a lot of beauty and that beauty and struggle will make you stronger and wiser just gotta learn to trust the process what are the first step to come back to my feminine energy after four years with narcissistic relationship first of all let's let me share something that might not feel comfortable to hear when we call our partners narcissist please know in order to attract a narcissist either you have to be codependent or narcissist yourself emotionally healthy people do not attract narcissists so please understand that and i will say 99 percent of the people right now do struggle with mental health disorders so it's not just you a lot of people but if you again calling someone narcissist you're basically calling yourself a narcissist as well 
do you get that? So stop using that term. Yes, your person maybe was egocentric. Maybe they were even selfish. I get it. But you needed them in order to learn that you're not going to be with this person again. You rather be single and really invest time in yourself to heal in order to start attracting emotionally healthy people. When you're emotionally healthy, you're high value woman, you're feminine, you're going to start attracting emotionally healthy men, high value men who are provided providers, leaders, and protectors. Thank you for the heart. And so the first step to start healing and to start shifting to feminine energy, first you got to say, I've attracted this partner in the past and I'm ready to learn and I'm ready to heal. And you got to take small steps and you cannot expect grandiose results right away. Nobody changes fast. Not you, not anybody else. So maybe you're going to wake up this week, every day, five to 10 minutes earlier. And when you wake up earlier, you're sending the message to yourself, not the job, not income, not your friends or family is important, but you are important. Your relationship with creator is important. And so you wake up and you choose. If you are just a beginner, you're just going to do the affirmation for 10 minutes in the morning. You went to the bathroom, you brush your hair, you brush your teeth. Now you're sitting on the floor in a Turkish position like that. And you put your arms in front of your chest like this, or you keep them like this in your, on your knees like this on your knees right and you repeat the affirmation either i wish everyone happiness if it feels right in your soul or you repeat i love you i appreciate you please forgive me and you keep repeating it back i love you i appreciate you please forgive me or you repeating the, the affirmation, I wish everyone happiness. I wish everyone happiness. I wish everyone happiness. And you do this for five or better 10 minutes every morning before you have a coffee, before you have your breakfast. This is the fastest road to start shedding the masculine energy and all of the pain from your past relationships and expectations that didn't happen. And so... After two, three weeks, you might do it for 12 minutes. After two, three months, you might do it for 15 minutes. But start with just five minutes. Close your eyes and connect to your soul and start repeating it. Even if your head says, I need to go to work, I need to make a coffee, I need to do this, X, Y, Z. Get back to your soul, repeating the affirmation out loud. Okay? So this is the fastest way to start moving to femininity. What to do if a man doesn't give gifts? You see, if you have an attachment for a man to give you gifts, he will be not inspired at all to give you any gifts. Maybe it's not his language of love. In order to get what you want, start appreciating what he's already doing. Maybe he's cooking and he's a great cook. Maybe he's helping you around to build shells or to take the garbage out. Maybe he is opening the doors to you when you go to a restaurant or when you get in the car. There's something that he is already doing and you like it, but you're stop paying attention to it. And the more you appreciate of what he's doing, the more he'll be motivated to do more. And then as he starts feeling more relaxed because you're not having this expectation that he has to do something and you're appreciating what he already does, you can gently tell him, honey, you know what? You probably don't know, but my language of love is gifts. So maybe sometimes you can surprise me and buy me flowers or maybe get me to the movie or maybe you can buy me a sexy shirt or lingerie that I can wear for you. That will make me so happy. But again, you're putting the seed in him, but you do not expect him to do that. A man buys gifts only when he feels valued, appreciated, when he feels proud that he is your man. And that's when he feels like, okay, he wants to do something to make you happy. So please know that. Great question. Hearts back to you. How do one heal a prideful spouse? A prideful spouse came into your life to not teach him, to teach you. 
with a proud spouse, you gotta be so soft, so feminine that over time, mm, his rock like a diamond, and diamond is a very hard rock. It's gonna start slowly, slowly, slowly becoming softer and not so rough. And so the problem is not with our spouses. The problem is with our expectations that they have to be other ways, somehow different. And that's where the problem is. Because they are the way they are. And our duty is to accept them the way they are. And when we're accepting them, this is the highest form of love. And that's when a person becomes softer, gentler, kinder, more compassionate, more loving. And that's what at the end of the day we women want. But stop focusing on him. Stop focusing on what beautiful qualities he already has. And the more you're going to focus on being gentle, soft and feminine, I promise you, over time his pride going to start also soften up. Great question. Can you be my partner? <laughs> I am married, but thank you for a compliment. And thank you, Mary, for the rose. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm ready to heal if I had a partner like you. Let me see, let me see. Russell, I guess, right? Russell, yes. But please consider, we get in life what we... It might sound rough, but please hear it from the soft energy and soft space, what we deserve. Right now, Creator knows that you need to be single or with a partner that you currently have. And the more we start investing time, energy and money into ourselves, for example, we go to yoga or we're running or we go to the gym, we take care of our physicality. We eat healthy, we take care of our physicality. When we meditate, when we pray, when we uh, do meditation, we take care of our spirituality and our emotions. And so the more we invest time in ourselves, the more our partners become start to reflect us and mirror us. So we always wanted to say something is wrong with our partners. Why we got such a partner? But consider they are teaching us something. And so instead of thinking and viewing the partners are there's something wrong with them. They shouldn't be like that. Why do I get them? But consider this is all part of the plan that comes from above. You need them. Even if you're single, you need to be single right now. Even with you're with the wrong partner that you think you need that partner. You just got to use what they're giving you in order to become a better version of yourself. Thank you, Russell. What if your spouse is a cheater and not remorseful for the pain he caused? If your partner is a cheater and you're taking him back, if he did not repent and he doesn't feel remorse, I promise you they will cheat again and again. And you attracted this partner in order to learn how to love yourself. When you love yourself, you will never attract someone who hates, someone who harms you, someone who wants to take advantage of you. So consider right now, you got to look in yourself, okay, what's wrong with me deep inside? What haven't I healed that I attracted someone who is cheating on me? Maybe I haven't healed that my father was cheating on mother, or my stepfather was uh, cheating on my mother or my first boyfriend was cheating and I never forgave him so now I'm attracting again a cheater so the problem is not with them as painful as it's what wounds do you have and start healing yourself and then you're gonna put boundaries and walk away because obviously with the partners who are cheating they're causing you harm and so you gotta love yourself to walk away yeah hearts back to you my girlfriend has a past relationship trauma from four years ago. It seems like the more I do for her, the less she trusts me. Also, 50% of the time she's close and don't feel appreciated. Got it. Um, that's what you need dating process for. When you date someone who has trust issues, who emotionally not available, all of the signs is that you are also some way broken. And that's why you have attracted a partner who is broken. And instead of focus on the partner, um, trying to be happy, trying to make them love you. And all I say, focus on yourself. 
love yourself don't save anybody not your wife not your husband not your boyfriend not your girlfriend and while you're dating if you see red flags maybe this person is not ready to be in a relationship and then you gotta walk away and that's why you gotta date two or three women and choose who is emotionally available who can reciprocate your love the trauma that you're dealing with that you attracted someone who cannot love you and so again the main point here is for you to focus on yourself. Thank you so much, dearest. My appreci much appreciated. Thank you, Mira. Absolutely. Let's see if there's more questions. I don't see myself sitting on the floor. Not for everyone. I'm loving you more as this goes on. <laughs> Thank you, Russell. I appreciate it. Uh, I was leading a program today uh, in this beautiful hotel and a lot of men were asking me such an intimate question that women were very shy to ask. And so I appreciate the directness and the really analytical and honest questions that men are always asking in the programs. By the way, the program and retreat in South Africa will be for both men and women. So Russell, you're welcome to join me. In August, I will have a program and a retreat here in a beautiful hotel in South Africa for just 20 participants. We're gonna be in a paradise in a five-star resort. Just wanna show you the picture. And wildlife is literally walking around me, giraffes and a leopard at night but i haven't seen it but i heard there's one zebras and antelopes and wildebeest so it's really unbelievable so we'll go to safaris we're gonna go to waterfall where we're gonna swim under the waterfall it's gonna be gorgeous we're gonna go to grand canyons of south africa on the crew meditation master classes every day and again it's a five-star resort that's gonna be on a really amazing special price just for my retreat here in August 2024 and in uh, May I'll have a retreat in Turkey giving you a heads up so what's coming up how much is the retreat in August please honestly I have no idea yet give me another two three weeks and I will know but the prices for Turkey is already on my website but if you click on my TikTok, there's a website underneath you're just gonna click and you'll see the retreat for Turkey. And so the prices will be very, maybe slightly higher, but I will try to do my best to do the same rates in South Africa. It's just in Turkey, there'll be four and a half star resort. And here it's a five star and it's really very eclectic. Tom Cruise stays here twice a year and he has a contract for six months out of the year here. So we will be very lucky to be here in August and January every year. So I'm very, very pleased that the owner were happy to work with me and give extraordinary rates for the retreat so just giving you a heads up